Rick, Vicki, this task force was supposed to issue recommendations to state lawmakers this month, but in this letter to Republican leaders, Senator Nemes and his co-chair say they need more time and they want to continue meeting through next year. I know time is of the essence. We don't want our students to be my age by the time we get it done, uh, but uh, we need to make sure we do this right. Senator Mike Nemus represents part of Bullitt County and Southern Jefferson County, and his children attended JCPS. He is co-chairing the Efficient and Effective School District Governance Task Force with Representative Kim Banta, a former teacher and school principal from Northern Kentucky. The fact that we are taking our time is the fact that we are interested and serious about this. Often simply referred to as the JCPS task force, they met 10 times from June through November. Community members served alongside state lawmakers and they heard from JCPS administration as well as nationwide experts. But Nemus says he still has questions. We're not getting the data and the planning that, uh, you know, you, it's easy to say you need to do this. Well, how are you going to do that? Is it really the data show that that should be done? And then how, what's your plan to do that? As a result, he says, the task force was unable to issue recommendations this month as planned, but a letter to GOP leadership lays out plans for next year, including investigating a reorganization of the Jefferson County Board of Education, studying the district administration, and streamlining the JCPS hiring process. There was no mention of breaking up JCPS into smaller districts. You know, from the start, people were saying, you're gonna break up the district, that's what you have to do. You can't break up the districts, you, you can't do that. And that's not our focus. Our focus is teaching the, the uh, students the best that can be. Uh, so whether you break it up or not is inconsequential. Senator Nemus does believe that if they're allowed to continue meeting through next year, the task force will have recommendations for state lawmakers by this time next year. Mark Vanderoff, WLKY News.